Hey everybody, this is Rain Phoenix. YouTube viewers, friends, list, subscribers, PS4, PS4 Pro, friends, list, and players. Rain Phoenix back again. Somebody was asking me about a fix about the PS4 Pro 2.2 um, and HDR upgrade. Now I just got my 2.2 cord. You don't need this. I'm doing this for better resolution. Um, this is it right here. But I'm not going to even plug this in. I'm just going to use the standard PS4 cord, which is there. There's nothing different about that one. I mean, that was the standard. This is one I got from Amazon because um, it's a, supposed to be a stronger, better signal and stuff like that. As you can see, the standard one works fine. But. <clears throat> I'm going to get into this fix. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to show you what I have set up already. Sound and screen video. This is, I forgot what the Y part means, but it's basically ultraviolet 420 or something like that. No, the 420 does not mean weed. No, I'm kidding. I mean, I'm not kidding, but that's not what it means. I'm being sarcastic anyway. Um, um, I have it in full because why would you go to limited when you know you can do full? Um, everything else is set to automatic. And this is supported. You see, that's not supported. Now I'm going to put it in two point. I'm going to put this in automatic. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to turn off the PlayStation 4. Don't put it in rest mode. You're going to want to shut this completely off. Forgive me for the camera shake it here. Then you're going to want to hold the place, the button on the PlayStation 4 Pro, which is right there. It's located right there. Somebody was like, asking me, they had just got it. And it took them a minute to find a PlayStation button, the power button. I mean, of course, by now you would have found it. But you're actually going to hold that button. You're going to wait till that light goes completely off. Then you're going to want to hold this for seven seconds till it beeps twice. Three, four five six seven and you're gonna take it off and it's gonna go to safe mode and now what you're gonna want to do is I got okay I got to plug in my controller here so we can read it all right and you're gonna want to go down to resolution or not resolution eight option eight hdcp now i only have it set to that because for the purposes of this video now i'm going to set it to automatic and it's going to restart <clears throat> the first setting that you see is what you're going to want to set it to now i have an lg tv magic remote you know what this is so let me get my little cursor up there bring up the option menu over there I'm going to go down to all settings and what you're gonna want to do is set this to oops go back up there set this to deep color but if you don't set that to deep color hold on let me get back up there okay let me go ahead and log this in really quick Click that. And you're going to see that it is now in 2.2 supported. So let's go all the way over here. Sound and screen. And you'll see that it is now supported. Right there. Now, to set it to that, this has to be in deep color. Now I'm going to go down to what I was going to show you before. Bring up the options. Go down to general. Go all the way over here to deep color. If I turn this off, then my TV will go black. Because I just I turned the, the deep color thing mode off. And it's going to restart my TV. Now before I do this, I want to have my PlayStation off. 
because if you turn it off, it'll be hard to set it back because it won't be able to read it. So I want to turn off the PlayStation, turning off the PS4. It's not going into rest mode. Now I'm going to turn this off and my TV will restart. So we're going to restart the TV. Now while this is restarting, I'm going to undo my cord here. This thing is something I've been waiting for. Never order from eBay. Amazon, you'll have your stuff like the next day or the day after. You know, you never have to. I waited a month for eBay for something and I never got it. One of them came from China. One of them didn't. It still took me a month to get it. The one I ordered from China still ain't here yet. Still isn't here. Um, no, we don't want to open the input list. Now I'm going to turn back on the PlayStation. And then you're going to wait for another seven seconds. Three, four, five, six, seven. And then it's going to go back into safe mode. The reason you're going to operate safe mode from here is because it's not in 2.2 anymore. It's going to go, no, you don't want to go to automatic. You go to option two. And it's going to ask you to restart the PS4. And the reason you're not going to do that is for what I just showed you is because you don't have the deep color on your TV. This is if your TV supports it. Now, not all TVs may support the deep color option, but if it does, you're going to want to have that on. You definitely, definitely want that on. I don't know if you can see how bad the picture just I ain't gonna say it's bad but it definitely could have got better you see looks I ain't gonna say it looks washed out but it kind of looks faded up here aside from what I'm used to looking at but you can definitely tell the deep color is not on you're gonna go to sound and screen again go down to video outputs and you will see that everything will switch to automatic I can't I can no longer go down there you can go up here but at the same time it's gonna go out okay it didn't go out okay wow my, this TV is really doing some weird stuff here um, you can't use the deep color now that's for sure see deep color output is automatic and then yeah you see I, I'm not gonna go to full because it can't do it, it can, let me see if it goes on, no it did went out okay I'm still gonna leave it on automatic because I don't trust it and you'll see here that HDR is not supported it's not supported now another thing you're gonna want to do not all the time this is this will work but sometimes on in most in cases of most TVs you're gonna want to have the HDR effect on you're gonna want to have it on don't worry about the user there's this normal or not oh shoot you see how it went out there I meant to go here high now the reason I do that is because medium high the reason it's on users because I set those I say I have them to my personal settings so don't worry about what it says user just HDR high dynamic range now that's not supported now I'm gonna go to deep color mode I'm gonna turn the deep color back on You'll see me here, go all the way down here, about 10 options down, 10 or 11, deep color, and I'm going to turn it back on for HDMI 2 because that's where my PlayStation is, and it's going to restart my TV. You go ahead and let it do that. I'm gonna go ahead and try to unravel this in one hand. Oh no, these got these wires got to be cut. They're not twist sticks. Okay, now you see that it is supported. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back up to resolution and select red, green, and blue. Now I can't. So I have to back out of this and then click back on it. 
and it'll automatically switch. I didn't have to do anything. The automatic, it's like the PlayStation automatically knows. It'll go back to full, you know, because, I mean, like, I don't know if it went back because of personal preferences or not, but everything will go back. You don't want to do limited and if your TV can't do it. Everything is go back, and you'll see that it says 1.4. Now I'm going to turn off the TV, I mean the PlayStation. I'm going to shut this off again. Now this time when you put it in safe mode, you want to put it in automatic so that it goes to 2.2. Even though HDR is supported, you still want to go to the 2.2 setting. No, I don't. No, when that light goes completely off, it'll turn completely dark. You hold it for another seven seconds after the first beep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you let it go. This time you're gonna go to option eight still. And set HDTP mode to automatic. The PS4 will restart. You want to keep that plugged in because every time you restart, it's going to ask you to plug it in. So you just want to keep it plugged in. I got to get a lot. I'm, well, actually, I have a longer cord, but this one is kind of not long enough, which is why I have that bad boy right there that I'm waiting to get a use out of as a backup cord right now for when I get my gaming chair, my little home theater chair. Okay. Now when this starts up, you're gonna notice automatically that the T, not the TV, the, you can already see how good the color looks. You can already kind of see that. Now once you go here, you're going to go back into the settings. Go back into settings, go down to sound and screen. And you will see that it is set to 2.2. 2K, 4K supported. HDR on your TV. Everything will be set. Uh, forgive that glare. Let me get that out of there. Okay, yeah, everything will be supported, and all everything looks good. Like you know, the color didn't look as washed out or as bland as it did before. The blacks are deeper. Um, everything looks richer and everything. Um, it looks really good. Um, okay, now I'm gonna get to plugging this in to see if the picture gets any better. So I'm gonna pause this video and I'll be right back in a few seconds. Okay, I am back. This is the standard PlayStation 4 core cord, PS4 Pro. This is out. And as you can see, the new one is in. Let me turn this light on here. This is the new one. It's like threaded and stuff, durable have it in HDMI 2 which is the arc there I'm gonna come back around I gotta do some cable management back here so let's just push this TV back here hit that light angle the TV back off here hold on all right there's good and yeah kind of looks like the pictures a little bit I gotta fix those cables back there it looks like a puke jungle of wires but yeah it definitely works better definitely seems like it where it's working better and now let's test the options again sound and screen Keep in mind, I did all of this before I put the new cable in. And everything's still in red, green, and blue. I can see if I switch it to ultraviolet, and it'll go back there. The screen just went off because it's adjusting. And you see how the color got washed out a little? I don't want to say washed out, but it definitely looks bland. So let's go back to red, green, and blue. The 
color does seem a little deeper and it's still in HDR. I don't know why I can't just turn it on, but some reason is set to automatic. I guess this is just for game purposes. Deep color is on. It's automatic basically. And everything is still supported. HDR on your TV, so we're good there. We are golden, we are platinum there. And before I end this video, I will go into a HDR game. All of these videos are HDR and or 4K. So let's go into The Last of Us. And this, you may see that it didn't switch to HDR, but it doesn't act switch until it actually goes into the game. And you'll see HDR up there in the upper right hand corner. This is still uh, HDR, just switch right there. HDR and this is the last of us and yeah it looks good and I think every every video game should have the option to adjust your sound and picture like in uh, the options of this game going down the options it should have audio and it should let you adjust your home theater to you know, it lets you adjust the home theater, front, back, everything. I think every game should have this option. I like it. It's a really cool little option. But that's another review, and I thank you guys for checking this out. This has been the 2.2 HDMI fix of the PlayStation 2 and LG or whatever TV you have. You don't necessarily have to have an LG TV. Um, that's just what mine is. Um, LG, you can see right there. This is an LG 65 inch Quantum Web OS Dolby Vision TV. Um, with that being said, I'm going to get out of here. I thank you guys for checking out the video. I hope it was really help helpful. If you found it helpful, like it. If you didn't find it helpful, don't like it. Personal preference. Um, thank you guys for everything, and I will see you guys in the next video. This is Rain Phoenix signing out. Take care, have a blessed day, and have a good one.